Okay, everyone. I'm Larry I Hate You, and welcome to my setup video for Romance of the Three Kingdoms 11. Now, a couple things here. Uh, the first thing to mention is the music in the background. What you are hearing right now is a looped and shuffled version of the original soundtrack for this game. My current installation does not have the intro movies or any of the background music. So I figured I'd add this in there just to be a little bit different and have something in the background. Otherwise it gets really quiet and the little sound effects when people say things get really, really loud. So, okay, so what we're going to do in this video is worry about officers. Now I have my family there. Go ahead and look in here, my guy. This is my leader, the I hate you Larry, without the E. Born in the far west, Master Larry, I hate you has been known to show great prowess in the hidden techniques of Let's Play Food. Yes. So Okay. Now I have a wife, which is as high there. So, let me save that. Show her. Um, if you want to read that, you can. I'm not going to read all of these. I did write out a few of these information slots. For my characters. I don't know why it keeps telling me to save when I haven't done anything. Okay. And this is one of my daughters. This daughter actually doesn't have a bio for some reason. Okay, this is the youngest, and her abilities really do s show it. Now, one thing to note is that the actual um, family connections, other than other than my wife, have been deleted, so they don't they won't take up my initial character slots, and that's where you guys come in. I'm going to have you guys make a new character. So let's create an officer. Now what I'm going to do is go into the auto here and go through these things. First you need to tell me if you're male or female. Then we'll go into faces here. Now there's 11 faces for the guys here and some of them have obviously taken. I guess we'll go with Grimoth's plan. Go from top to right like you're reading a book. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so forth. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen per page. So we'll go ahead and look through here. Some of these guys I've used for other games, so it's going to be interesting to see what what people choose, what we what we end up using, and what we see in game. So we'll go through here. Um, I'm allowed to put in 150 officers in this game. There's very little limitations on that. So depending on how many comments I get, I may just put all of you in and let the number generator choose who goes with me in the first city. So. Lots of different helmets. Scars, eye patches, epic beards, and some not so epic beards. Some very strange looking people, as always, in these games. Get funny looking faces and the tiny little hats for the strategists. All that strategery. Okay, and then page 7 here goes into the women. So if you're making a female character, you got to remember that you start on page 7 with these characters. And the women kind of seem to blend together to me. I don't see a whole lot of differences in the actual faces. Maybe that's just me not being very Asian, but... 
I suppose there is a lot more differences that I put on, but through here. Yep, music in the background. Nicely done. Okay. And so that's the character faces. So for this character, I'm just going to randomly choose this guy. He won't be in the game, I'll delete him once I finish it. But for this little video, we'll go ahead and make our character here. Now, you need a surname and a forename. The surname is your family name, your last name, whatever. And your first name is the forename. But remember, your name may only be a maximum of 12 characters. That includes both names. That's why my last name is I Hat You instead of I Hate You. So let's go ahead and see if I put in that, I'd end up being. See how the confirm goes out here? Because I'm one letter too light. Or too long. Take out the E, and then I can put this back and still get the confirm. But, let's put in. I hate you test. Yes. That is the name. Okay. Now, here's the ability type. Um, these four right here determine your actions in like duels and debates. It's sort of a character ideal. I know it's not, not the actual ideal, just sort of a reference. So you can choose whichever one you like. Now, on ability types here, I'm going to be pretty strict. Your choices are going to be strategist or general. And I'm just going to kind of randomize for it. Um, I could give people heroes, but I'm going to restrict that to my main characters because that gives everybody huge amounts of stats. And I guess if you really wanted to, you could pick standard because those stats are really crappy if you want to make it more challenging for me. There you go. So, choices are strategist, general, standard here. Let's just make this guy a general. Or 70 or 96, leadership's a little low. There we go. Leader, leader 97, war 91. That looks good. Go in here. Okay, now. The only other thing I would allow you to change would be on this page. You can change your tone, I guess. Not quite sure what the tones do. I assume it's towards the voice. <laughs> Um, the court, how you re regard the Han and the Emperor, is kind of... I'm not quite sure what all this does, and I'll tell you this right now. This Let's Play is going to be lots of me just fooling around and not really knowing. Uh, if you want a more informative Let's Play, you'll have to wait for Grimmith to actually get around to doing it. So he can get on with it. So, the biggest thing on this page that you need to worry about is your aspiration. Which will tell you some of how your character reacts, how it acts, what it's looking for, and that sort of thing. Um, military for the might down there at the bottom. Virtue for the royal character. That's what my character is. Every time I go out searching and stuff, my advisors will say, Oh, let them show your virtue. So, uh, so you got Self, Steadfast, which is the slow and steady turtle win wins the race. Uh, goodly is going for the good of the people, high morale. Able is just do what they can type thing. Career says stabilize the country and protect the people. Now, I don't know that's probably a difference 
somewhere between goody and steadfast in the career. Uh, eminent is success and wealth, which is similar to self. Uh, secure is avoids danger and runs away a lot. Yes. Um, and then retiring is doesn't really care. He's uh, on his way out. He's only worrying about himself. He wants a nice, easy life. So this guy is definitely complicated military, I guess. Now, I could go in here and actually change the character settings, but I'm not going to. However, one thing you could do is your aptitude. If you wish a specific aptitude, you may have it. But for whatever I raise, I'm going to lower something else. So keep that in mind. The other choice is your skills here. You can choose any of these skills. I'll let you go ahead and choose them. I know this is pretty complicated. I'll go ahead and let you look through these. Pause the video if you want to look at a different type of skill. See what it says, how it works. I don't know the exacts on how this stuff works, but I'll let you guys decide what you want and I'll just roll with it. That will be pretty much what this game is, me rolling with it and playing around. So, benevolent rule. This guy's not really a ruler, but let's see, where is that? Uh, okay, let's sort my name. Please. Uh, it's not sorting my names. Whatever. Whatever the rule is fine, I guess. So, there you go. The other, uh, the last option is your birth date here. 170 is the standard. And if you don't give me a birthday, that's where you're going to be. Um, I'm probably going to keep playing in the 194 AD area, because that's my favorite scenario. Where Dongzu is raising to power, it's got Keo Keo and Lubai, and all those names that I'm going to butcher all over the place in the way I say them. I know there's Sao Sao or Cow Cow or whatever his name is. That's just, I'm going to call him K.O.K.O. -K -O because that's what I'm used to. So, that's where we stand. Let's go back over this one more time. To create an officer, you need name, face, ma your gender. <laughs> gender, face, name, your character type. Your ability type of strategist general or standard. Then you need to tell me your court, your aspiration, your tone if you want it, your aptitudes if you want it, and your skill if you want it. And if you want any sort of change in your lifespan, you need to tell me that as well. So. That's where we are. I hope everyone can understand all this complicated stuff. Let's go ahead and delete that officer we made randomly. Okay. Yes. As you can see, my stats on my made officers are pretty high, especially for my wife, who is a hero who is maxed out. That's one of the one reasons I'm taking her with me. The others will find them just like any other officer. And I hope I don't get Ling. Yeah. Anyway. So that's that, guys. I will see you later. Go ahead and post your officers in the comments of this video.